Okay, hold on. Try to get out of the neighborhood, guys. And uh, I got a little bit. I might have a little bit of a surprise for you, Corvette lovers. Uh, I uh, talked to my buddy Klaus, asked him could I stop by. Hopefully, he'll pull out a C8 and uh, probably won't do a full-blown video today. But uh, at least you'll get a look at the C8. So uh, I'm gonna go over there. But the uh, main part of this video. Hopefully is to get you guys some sounds of the LC And we got about a good 10 minute maybe 15 minute drive at his house if that depending on how fast I drive But anyway, let's get into it. This is what you guys really want to hear Woo. <laughs> seven. Wow, that was 77 Okay guys, that was in eco mode. That wasn't even, wow. <laughs> thing. I let it warm up. Uh, I guess, a, oh boy, lane departure. Uh, yeah, it was just like I was saying, it goes up to 7,000 RPMs once it's warmed up. So uh, I've got full throttle. And uh, this bad boy is kicking like Bruce Lee. Okay, I am going to take it out of eco mode, not go into comfort mode. I'm going to put it back in normal mode and uh, just kick it a little bit. Yeah, I think to get to his house, maybe a 10 minute drive through the traffic, not that far. But, uh, hopefully I can not get a speeding ticket this morning. I hope this GoPro, I'm seeing everything on the GoPro shows that it's clicking off time. So it looks like it's recording. I'm at, where am I at? That three minutes, six seconds. So good to go. All right. Um, what else about the car while with it? This red light. Uh, I like the brake hold feature. Uh, for this, I gotta stop saying off. Uh, I like the brake hold feature. For this, all you gotta do is basically press the button. That's right here. You probably can't see it and uh brake hole will come up in green and then when it's engaged it will come up in orange saying hold up on the, the brake hole symbol and this i like it and the ls i thought it was in the wrong place i don't know why they put the, the orange hole indicator over to the left in the ls 500 but in the lc they got it right in the right place right below the green hole symbol so you know it's engaged you're looking at everything in one place so it's driver centric i think that's what i've been getting at this is a driver centric car okay let's do what we came out here to do stop talking so you can hear the car all right let's kick it it's normal move got to get it up four grand before it kicks uh, okay let's slow that down that was 80 miles per hour all right now, I did go to the dealership and I talked to my service rep. I got one service rep I deal with at Lexus. And uh, I would advise you, if you go to a Toyota or Lexus, get a service rep that you know, uh, develop a bond with them. You know, that's your personal service rep. So anyway, with the LS, I use the same guy. So anyway, he told me, I, I told him, I said, hey, the transmission shifts kind of funny. And when I'm just cruising around, just putt putting, and uh, he was like, "Do you have it in sport mode?" So yep, I had it in sport mode. So he's saying, "Hey, it's it's meant, you know, if you put it in sport mode for this car, it's meant for you to get down on it. If you want to avoid some of that, you know, a little bit of clunky shifting, put it in comfort or eco, and then you can putt putt around. And that seems that that works." Now, when it's in sport mode or sport sharp, sport plus, whatever you want to call it, yes, you got to kick it. You need to get down on it. And that's what I'm about to do right now. We'll put it in sport mode and show you. So, yeah, once you get a boy four grand, she kicks. And she kicks. <laughs> Still kicking. All right, 93. Let me slow this down. Whoa! Something in the road. Like a, like a piece of a roof. All right, uh, that was, and this thing goes where you tell it to go too. And uh, watching another video, and a guy put it in manual mode, 
and that makes it more responsive. I learned that in the RCF by accident. I didn't know once you put it in pure manual with the shifter, it really quickens up the response time and the throttle. And so same thing with this car. So I just put it in pure manual mode, downshifting. This is what I love. This is not the fastest car on the road, but you buy this car for the sounds. And it's a muscle car, but it's don't expect it to be a Corvette or they put it in the category with the 911, the BMW 8 series. Yes, maybe in that category, but this is definitely a comfortable car. Uh, as compared to my RCF, the RCF rode a little bit rougher, but it was still comfortable in its own right. But this thing here is really comfortable. All right, I'm gonna kick it a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah. It shifts very quick. And that's what I noticed about the RCF. The RCF sometimes would be hunting for gears, and uh, this doesn't do that doesn't do it but the RCF now I know some of you gonna hate me for this the RCF I believe was a little bit nimbler around curves it, it did pretty good uh, this is a little bigger but this turns I don't know this turns pretty good because it's got the rear stirred and there's the local sheriff <laughs> I'm glad I slowed down so uh, but this I don't know the, the RCF is smaller and I had the torque vector differential which also helped the turnaround curve. I think that gave it its advantage in the RCF. So, I don't know. These two cars, are almost from the mods that I did to the RCF to make it handle better and the exhaust, I added power, a little bit of power. But uh, I don't know. It's, it's, these two seem to be matching up. I think the RCF could definitely hang with it. Um, well, at least the one I had. <laughs> but, but this shifts faster, very quick. Oh man, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Oh yeah. As long as you got this thing up around four grand, and the same thing in the RCF, if I had around four thousand, and it pulled really pull hard. You gotta do the same thing. So you gotta ring this thing out to get that torque out of it. Yeah. I'm always keeping this thing in the red. <laughs> I'm loving it. All right. There we go. As I tell you, the Camry SE. I think I almost got the Camry SE. That's what I was looking at in the beginning. And that was the car right there. The XSE with the two tone. Oh, there she goes. Woo! This thing kicks. I think it's got the RCF beat. Oh, boy. Slightly, slightly. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah. I we'll have to give a guy, we we'll have to give a shout out to that guy that uh, talked about putting it in manual mode, get more response. All right, on the back road. Woo. All right, let me slow down. Put eighty. Now this is another thing I found out. Uh, the RCF. You had a selection of, uh, once you put it in sport sharp or whatever, you could put it in track mode. You could put it in slalom mode. So I'm not sure if this had, this is not an F, so it doesn't have that functionality. But uh, I, I don't think I've seen anybody say anything about putting it in track mode. So uh, hmm, haven't seen it. Uh, scroll through some of the... Let's see here, go back, scroll through some of the performance stuff. Yeah, see, that was like a performance mode. Well, okay, you still got the gear select. You can see what the gear is looking like, gear positions, what you wanted. Uh, there's the wing that's deployed. I'm not seeing anything where I can put this thing in the track mode. Okay, but I do like the oil temperature. Slide the gauge. Never gets old. Whoa. Here we go. <laughs> oh man, that's cool. <laughs> man, hanging at 35 and 64. Ooh, you probably got that on camera. All right. 
railroad track. I'm gonna break it down. All right, I'll slow down for safety. No train. All right, it's the Kloss. Got us on this street right here, about a mile or so from his house, and did a burnout. Let me see what I can do. Okay. All right, uh, let me do something. Let me put this. Yeah, get rid of some stuff. I don't want to get copyright violations. And this thing kicks. Got a car there. Nah, this is not the vet. <laughs> we did a, a launch on the Corvette back there. Oh man, I don't know how fast that thing got and it put me against the seat. Alrighty. Lane sail. Go. First time I noticed this, the seat belt does rub in this holder and it makes an annoying leather on cloth sound. Alright, I know how to fix that. <laughs> Hey, hello everybody. I've gotten to uh, my buddy's house, Kloss. Mr. Kloss is going to show me his Corvette. Let me see if he's home. Uh, got the Corvette in the background. Nice C8. Uh, let him tell you a little bit about it. We're not going to take it out today, but I talked him into uh, at least uh, telling you guys a few things about the car. Hold on. Kloss, right, so how's it going? Hey, Rico. Hi. All right. Good all right. To see you again. Glad to see you too. Hey, want to talk about your Corvette here. I've been yes. telling everybody about it, and I want to know if you could give me about a few minutes just to tell me about it. The C8 over yep. here. We <laughs> bought a 2020. Okay. In fact, it was the first one in this area. Uh huh. I was the first one on the dealer's list. Okay. And we got a Z51 with uh, magnetic shocks, oh. and 3LT interior, so it's all leather and and has... Uh, all the features except some of the carbon fiber. Oh, okay. Hey, let's walk over to it a little bit. Uh, hey, have you done any modifications to it? Uh, only uh, the the shock towers uh, collect water. Mm -hmm. And so I purchased some special caps to keep the water out. Okay. This is a gorgeous Corvette C8 edition that uh, he keeps very well. And uh, hopefully we'll get it out and uh, we'll do some launches. All right. So yeah. I, I added a, uh, a painted engine cover, okay. which wasn't available when these early cars came out. Uh, they were just gray. Oh, okay. Yeah, it definitely gives it a lot more flair. I yeah. see you didn't go with the red, the master car. You kind of went with the burgundy color. Well, Was there a reason th for that? That's the only color that GM had available, mm -hmm. and it matches the uh, cam covers. Oh, okay. 
Wow. Ah, uh, I see what you're talking about. I got to get in here yeah, and closer. Yeah, it's called, called a, a misread. Misread. I like it either way. It's a I, I little like different. It. Yeah, it's different. It sets it out. Yeah. But uh, anyway, this is a gorgeous Corvette. I and, and uh, of course, we, we, we put paint protection film on the whole front of the car. Oh, you did that too. So, okay. So ceramic coat. Yeah, ceramic coat yeah. I use. Mm. But definitely, this is good. I know I kind of came by unannounced, and uh, I don't want to stay too long. I know you got some other stuff you got to be doing. But uh, anyway, thanks, Mr. Kloss, again for showing us your beautiful C8 Corvette, and this is a 2020, right? 2020. 2020. And All we'll right. be taking it out so, as soon as we have a little time, and we'll do a video out on the road. All right. Roger that. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Okay, everybody. Here's the LC500 parked at Mr. Kloss's house. Uh, Thought I'd put it back here with the nice backdrop of the dogwood tree uh, that's blossoming. And uh, just give you a quick view of the car. I plan to take it out. I had it out earlier. Hopefully the video came out pretty good where we showed you some of the sounds of the car. And I, I you know, gave you a few tidbits about the car just performing on the road. But uh, definitely having fun. I'm looking forward to taking out Mr. Kloss's Corvette again getting that out on the road and uh, getting you some launch times to see how it is. But anyway, here it is, backed up in his yard on his uh, backup pad, and it looks pretty good. But uh, anyway, uh, just a short video, and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for sticking with me. Bye.